Okay, this video leads on from uh, exercise, or exercise 3C of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics, question 2 on page 80. Now in question 2, what we had to do was maximize an expression for the range. The range being S sub X, and this is the expression we maximized. And I want to show you another way of doing it. And I, I did this, we will say this method, I used it when I proved the angle for maximum projection of a projectile, which as we know, of course, is 45 degrees. And what I used was differentiation. And you will not be able to do this uh, it, up till, we'll say, towards the end of your fifth, fifth year in school. You, you will, however, definitely be able to do it before your leaving cert. Now, uh, if this isn't vital, I think this is the easiest way to maximize something. Now, if you want to learn how to do it this way, I suggest you look at my video on functions, first of all, and then look at my video on, uh, on how to, we'll say, maximize the angle of projection. Now, if you look at those videos, you will know the following. That s sub x, the function that we have here, is a function of the following variables. Well, u is a constant, the initial speed is a constant, and gravity is a constant. So the only variables in this expression are alpha and beta is equal to s sub x is equal to whatever is up here, the whole thing, right? So it's a function of alpha and beta. But what we are trying to do is ma maximize, uh, find the angle which will give us maximum uh, maximum range. So what we're actually trying to do is, is maximize alpha. However, of course, if we want, if this was our, this is our, our incline, and we wanted to ma maximize the angle of inclination of the, of the, uh, of the plane for maximum range, then of course we would be talking about beta. But what we're going to do is here, we're going to differentiate the function with respect to alpha. Because for maxima or minima, you differentiate and set to zero. Simple and you, you need to decide what you're maximizing. In this case, we're maximizing the angle of projection, alpha, so we differentiate with respect to alpha. If you, wanted, if you wanted to maximize the angle of inclination, then we would differentiate with respect to beta. Now, the only difficult thing about this is noting what are constants and what aren't. So, because we're differentiating with respect to alpha, alpha is the variable. U is a constant, of course, and so, are, so is G, so they don't really matter. If you want, you could, leave, you could leave them in and differentiate, but they won't actually affect it at all. So in actual fact, you can cancel them out. They won't matter. Cos squared beta. We're not differentiating with respect to beta, so beta is also a constant. And because there is a multiplied here, you can just cancel them. However, uh, and also then sine beta, finally you can cancel that, because that's a constant. So what we're left with is sine 2 alpha, minus beta. So what we need to do is we'll say d d alpha, that means differentiate with respect to alpha. We need to differentiate uh, sine of 2 alpha minus beta. Now just in case I confused anybody, if you do this you'll get the same answer as if you do this. Differentiate with respect to alpha d d alpha of u squared g over cos squared beta times sine 2 alpha minus beta plus sine beta. You get the same answer. The reason you get the same answer because with, we are differentiating with respect to alpha. So that won't affect this, that will just go to zero and so will this. Or oh, that won't go to zero, yeah the constant won't go to zero but it, it, will, it will just disappear and it won't matter. So anyway we're going to differentiate with respect to alpha of sine 2 alpha minus beta. So if you differentiate sine, you get cosine And then you use the chain rule, so you have to differentiate the argument 2 alpha minus beta. We said beta is a constant, so we're just, we're just differentiating 2 alpha, and that turns out to be 2, like that. And we want to set this to 0. Once again, 2 is a constant, so we can get rid of that. And you're left with the following. we cos 2 alpha minus beta being equal to 0. Now look at your unit circle. When is cos 0? Well, the cos of naught is 1. Cos of 1 is naught. So, cos is only 0 at uh, pi over 2, pi over um, 4, is that 4? 
not pi over 4, excuse me, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, dot, dot, dot. All right? So it's, or we could say 90 degrees, 270 degrees, and whatever. So it has to be, you know, 90 degrees, essentially. So how we do this, we say that in order for this to be equal to 0, as we want it to be, this here must be equal to 90 degrees, or pi over 2. Which is the same thing. So 2 alpha minus beta is equal to 90. 2 alpha is equal to 90 plus beta. Alpha is equal to 90 plus beta over 2. Similarly, 2 alpha minus beta is equal to pi over 2. 2 alpha is equal to pi over 2 minus beta. Alpha is equal to pi over 2 minus beta over 2. They're the same thing. And that's the answer. If you look actually on page 80, you'll find that that is the answer we're supposed to get. And that's the answer I did in the video on uh, question 2 anyway. So, I hope that was helpful. Um, it doesn't, it's not, not very important, but I find that that's the best way of maximizing or minimizing a function. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.